what's up YouTube PJ coming back with another video for you guys and today is gonna be kind of a small POV video and I'm just gonna be driving my car I have about an hour and a half drive to where I'm getting I'm going out here for my stepbrother's birthday he just turned 13 and my dad is bringing him to ride four wheelers at this place and like I said it's about an hour and a half away and I decided since I haven't been really reliable to you guys with these videos and I'm gonna be recording one on the way there and I'm sorry about that and this video is pretty much gonna be why I am sorry about that and what's been going on with me and the Cobra for the past month or so um, I've been pretty down and bummed out because things just haven't been going as according to plan with me and I'm sorry that that's interfering with my uploading to YouTube but sometimes life just gets the better of you for all the new people to my channel I'm PJ Morrison and I have a 2003 Ford Mustang Cobra with about almost 150,000 miles on it now. I've got it whenever it was at 113,000 about uh, almost two years ago. I believe I got it in April of 2017 and the car was fairly stocked whenever I got it. Um, all they had done to it was a cold air intake, a JLT intake I believe, an LM1 cat back exhaust and I don't even think it was tuned. Um, it was on H&R lowering springs and when I got it the AC was working but I do feel like that they kind of got over on me with that because they probably just filled it up right before they shipped it to me because uh, if you haven't noticed my AC has been going out frequently with the car. I've been getting it refilled and diagnosed and things and I ended up doing some, a little minor AC work myself on the car, but it just keeps on leaking all the Freon out of it from somewhere. And my buddy Steven, he diagnosed it for me and he said that the only thing else that it could be would be the evaporator cord. And with that being said, I just recently took all the dash out took the steering column dash all of that out of the car and just to realize that I didn't know what I was doing and I put it all back together in the car and that ended up being the number one failed attempt that I did and I was pretty bummed out about that I, ended, I even ended up not putting the dash in all the way correctly but then I was like man you know what I'm gonna watch a few videos go on a few forums and see how they go about doing this and I got a little bit of insight from people, but it just so happened to be not enough insight. But me being the person that I am, I went on ahead, waited a few days or so, probably about a week, and tore the dash out of the car again. This time, I feel like I had most of the day left to you know, get what I had to do done, but I ended up not being able to get the evaporator core um, away from the where it met up with the air canister under the dash I'll insert what I'm talking about right here in the video but I was actually pretty bummed out about that I had work the next day and I was like man I need to get this done but then again I was like I'm not gonna just go on until the next day because then I'll be having to miss work and all kind of stuff like that and that's just something I didn't want to deal with. So now I put everything back in the car for a second time, which was fail number two. And I was pretty bummed out about that. And also I broke my e-brake. As you can see, it's sitting like kind of funky right now. Look at this. I don't know if you can see because of the position of the GoPro on my head, but it's kind of wiggling right now. And that's not a good thing. I broke the bolt that keeps it bolted down to the frame of the car and uh, that was pretty stupid of me because I yanked on it too hard and it just broke. So I'm gonna end up having to get that welded on. I mean, weld it back together, but I believe my buddy Steven can weld that back, back for me. Uh, but I just hate that it's thing after thing with this car and uh, it's just, it's really taking a toll on me because I'm so used to having a reliable car. Even though, I mean, really and honestly, mechanically and just, it being a daily driver, I have had little to no problems with the car. It's always problems that I end up causing for myself. And yeah, I just can't complain really about that because I'm the one doing it. But the AC is starting to be a big problem with me and I just need to get that fixed. I called around and asked people um, how much they would charge me in order to swap out my evaporator core. And I've been getting prices from 
Well, I'm just gonna say the base price from $1,200 on up, just because I have to order the part through them and they said it's gonna take a lot of labor taking the dash out and things. They must be having traffic for a funeral. Oh look, and that's 550. But I just don't know, like, I really do love the car. I don't wanna get rid of it. And I'm most likely not gonna get rid of it, but you can't keep everything forever, um, even if you want to. So I'm just keeping my options open. If I do come around to finding a great deal on a car that I've always loved, then, I mean, I'm sorry to say, but Pegasus, you might be gone. But like I said, it has to be like a great deal and I have to get a great trade-in value or at least find a buyer that's willing to pay what I want for the car. I'm not specifying any of that right now because I'm not really looking to sell it right now. But like I said, I'm gonna keep my options open. I hate driving through places with this slow speed limit, 25 miles per hour. That's like first gear for me, but I try to keep it in second at least. And I know I'm just rambling on, just talking to you guys, but I felt like these were things that you were entitled to know just because you as the viewer, y'all wanna know what's going on because y'all aren't here for nothing. And y'all just, I mean, y'all care. I feel like y'all care about the car just as much as I do. Y'all care about what goes on with it and all this stuff. That's why um, one of my next videos, I do plan on doing another update on the car. I feel like y'all deserve another, an updated walk around and just to know everything that's been going on with the car, everything that I plan on doing with it and everything that has been done to it since my last update. One thing I'm definitely gonna miss if I get rid of the car is the way it sounds. <laughs> I mean, I love this. Um, for those of you who don't know, I did install a BBK off-road X-Pipe on my car. And of course I got it tuned afterwards, but I just love the way it sounds. Look at this. <laughs> Why you feel like you could pass everybody? Drive is a little slow. Thank you all for watching.